a car crash survivor speaking out, hoping that some safety enhancements are installed along a busy roadway. Well, this comes after three people died in a crash just this morning on that same road, Highway 31 in Spring Hill. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell has been digging into this story to find out how often these crashes are happening. Even though I don't remember anything, my brain puts that road with severe pain and trauma. Therefore, avoid, avoid. Deanna O'Brien still suffers from PTSD after she was involved in a bad car wreck almost two years ago at the intersection of Nashville Highway and Carter's Creek Pike. When I woke up, I didn't know what year it was. I have, like I have Swiss cheese memory. I can't remember giving birth to my daughter. Images of her wreck reveal how horrific it was. The multi-vehicle crash left one person dead. This incident left O'Brien with several injuries. She had to learn to walk and talk all over again. I know why people may not walk again, because the threshold of pain that you have to be able to endure, your blood pressure going up, your heart rate going up, you're vomiting from pain, and no amount of medication is helping. A lot of those scary feelings came back after Friday morning's crash not far from the GM plant in Spring Hill. Three people died, Linda Joyce and David Horton of Spring Hill and Crystal McPherson of Columbia, originally from Arizona. Where this crash happened is in Spring Hill, but not too far down the road, the jurisdiction changes to the Columbia Police Department, and both law enforcement agencies say drivers just need to slow down. Last year, there were over a dozen crashes within the same stretch of highway from Friday morning's crash. O'Brien thinks the growth of the area just can't keep up with the amount of traffic congestion and hopes something is done to prevent more tragedy. If we just had turning lanes, um, I think that would help. And if we can't get the turning lanes, um, we could start with um, stoplights or something as simple as budgeting a traffic unit. Since we know that this is a high traffic area and there's been so many accidents. In Spring Hill, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5. O'Brien has not fully recovered. She still struggles picking up heavy objects and getting behind the wheel. Today's crash is under investigation.